Hi there, Gemini. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your August 28th through September 3rd weekly reading. I've already shuffled these a few times for you before I hit record. This is for Gemini. This is um, whatever comes out, comes out. Generally, I do love readings, but we will see what happens. This is for Gemini. Thank you to all my subscribers, likes, shares, comments, and support. I really appreciate that. Something's heavy. Something is heavy. You're carrying around a heavy load. Yeah, I think that you're carrying around a heavy load, but you're ready to get rid of it. So whatever that is, it looks like you're deciding to get rid of something. I'm not sure what it is, but... It looks like, you know, you've been carried around for a while now because it's pretty comfortable there. Um, here we have an exciting new opportunity, something that's exciting, which is awesome. Um, this is, it can be a little bit challenging, but um, it it is something that is going to make you great. It's going to build your character. So I, I wonder what this is. Whatever it is, it brings a lot of happiness to you. So there's some happiness this week, which is great. Here we have a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Um, and here we have the Four of Swords. This is about um, a time of contemplation, maybe a time of rejuvenation. Maybe you've been really taking some time to contemplate on this person. Um, and whether they make you happy or not, you know, perhaps you're feeling very, very excited about the future with them or, you know, or you've, they've been weighing you down one or the other. So let's see what happens. <laughs> well, there's definitely a very sexual passionate connection between you and this person this is a fire sign or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart i think that perhaps there's been um <laughs> or there is a i mean it's it's so hot of a connection that it's like burning all right so there's there's a lot of um fire here all right there's a lot of fire here so I think that you are feeling a lot of passion with somebody or you have felt a lot of passion with somebody. But up here with this Four of Swords, I mean, it's there's definitely a time of recuperation here. So maybe they you've been, you know, maybe they've been a little bit too much for you and you need some time to recuperate, okay? Um, I think that they definitely, I think that you're feeling very secure, whatever it is that you're comfortably carrying around it looks like you need to let it go because it's over so whatever you've been carrying around on your back that doesn't need to be carried anymore you can let that go all right this is a completion and this is a completion so it looks like something regarding your security and your stability um, is very good it's very content all right because we have the sun right next to it i think that you have become very content with where you are right now during this week i think you're feeling very good i don't see really any big huge financial struggles this week where things are like extremely bad or anything it looks like you probably have enough to survive this week either way um i see that you are a visionary and i think you've been envisioning the future <laughs> Let's get some more. Oh, another seven. Yeah. 
work, 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 work. Have you been burying yourself in work? Because I see that. That's why I see that you're not really struggling financially. I think a lot of you, and this will not resonate with all of you, a lot of you are burying yourself in work, and maybe that's why you need the time for recuperation. You know, maybe that's why you need the time to rejuvenate your soul. Maybe you've been working too hard. And, you know, working too hard and giving up maybe some attention to this other person. And maybe you're whooped, you know. So you're feeling kind of whooped this week. Um, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Because it looks like things, it's a very busy, busy week for you. And I think that things are happening really fast. Just in between work and love life, it's like it's like you're just a running. Okay? And I think you're feeling a little bit... Um, a little bit of inner conflict because you're trying to serve so many um, people all right so I think you're trying to just just do so much this week and I think that you probably have your guard up because there's it's, there's a lot of busyness here it's like run 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 and try to I mean you're building your foundation and you're working so hard at work and you're carrying around a lot of responsibilities and you're trying to give attention to somebody else um, which is, this is a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, and it's just so intense. I think there's a lot of intense sexual energy here. So I think that you're trying to keep up. You're trying to keep up with work, and you're trying to keep up with this person, and I think there's a lot of romance going on, a lot of love to be had here, along with passion. And I think that you're thinking very clearly. You're able to multitask very well. There's a lot of multitasking here, like one thing right after another. Things are happening very, very fast. But I think in the long run, you're very, very happy with it. I think this is a great, happy week for you um, where you're feeling quite fulfilled. I mean, in every aspect. In finances, it doesn't mean you're rich, okay? You have enough to survive, all right? It, it feels like you're feeling fulfilled, fulfilled. It feels like you're happy. It feels like there's a lot of passion. There's probably some sexual energy here, you know? There's a lot of busyness. There's a lot of um, clarity. I mean, it looks really good. It just it looks like you're carrying too much. Okay, it looks like you have a lot of responsibilities and you're trying to to just give it all to everybody. You know, right from one to the other, one to the other, one to the other, and you're just trying to provide the attention that every every aspect of your life demands okay you're just you're trying really hard to do that and you're doing a damn good job too um so this is august 28th through um the 28th through the 3rd of september we're gonna get some of these cards I see there's some new growth, okay? There's some new growth probably within this relationship. If you've been with this person for a while, all of a sudden things have started to expand. Perhaps some seeds have um, come to fruition even a little bit more than you thought they were going to. And I think there's just a lot of passion right now during this week and a lot of interest. Um, I think that there's no more, there's a complete clarity in something, okay? This one came out first. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you've been feeding some addictions, and this, this could be a sexual addiction, okay? So I think that they could be sexual, could be drugs, it could be something, but I definitely think there's some addictions here that, you know, it's kind of like a euphoric feel where it's like, oh my God, this seems too good to be true. You know what I mean? Because it feels so good, and I think this is a really good week for you. I think that you are coming out on top. You know, this is a week where you're feeling very proud of what you've accomplished. I think that you, there's, you, there's really no secrets. I think that you are, if you are receiving the, the clarity this week that you, you, there's no fuzziness going on up there. That's what I'm trying to say. So whatever's going on in your head, rest assured that you're, you are thinking clearly, okay? I think that um, with the Seven of Swords here, that you you're battling too many responsibilities okay i think you have too many responsibilities on your shoulders between work home um your love your love life you know what i mean it just seems like it's like whoo you are running this week and i see that there's a lot of uh intense energy okay uh, 
there may be even some overindulgences, okay? There may be some overindulgences because of the need to escape. I mean, you work so hard, you got to take a minute to escape. So there could be some overindulgences this week, you know, in some kind of addiction to get through it, you know, I'll get through all the busyness. Um, I see that you are making your dreams come true. I do. I see that your wishes are starting to be fulfilled because you're making them come true. All right? I think that you've been following your intuition and listening to your inner guide a lot and working on your spiritual self. And I think that some of your inner conflicts are starting to dissolve because this is inner conflicts. Because you're starting to see the truth of a situation. This is the Eight of Cups. This is about leaving something behind. Just leaving something behind. So, like I said, there's a lot of responsibilities here. I think that you are just running. Things can be a little bit chaotic because you're trying to keep up with everybody's demands, but I think you kind of like it. I think that you have, might have some addictions that you're feeding to get through it, and so whatever, and that you need to let something go. Okay, because there needs to be something needs to be done in moderation and I'm not sure what that is but it looks like there's some overindulgence here and something needs to go um, they're so close too I mean you're doing so good um, you're so close to another 10 with these two nines Okay, nines are so, so, so close. Um, so close to reaching happily ever after, okay? But this is very, very good week with the sun card. It's really a good time. It's a good week. I don't see, I see a little bit of chaos, and I see a lot of, a lot of uh, multitasking, but I don't see any big arguments. I don't see any, um, you know, the tower's not here. I don't see anything drastic. I think it's going to be a week of intense passion, okay? Now, this may or may not resonate with everybody, okay? I think, and if it's not passion, it's intense sexual attraction, okay? There's a lot of sexual energy here, a lot. There's a lot of carnal desires and feeding them, all right? So that's what I think this week is about. This may or may not resonate with everybody, like I was starting to say, because there's so many people in the world, and there's no way I could possibly read everybody. I'm sure this will resonate with some. Um, yeah. So I think you might need some time to um, recuperate because of all how fast you're moving. Okay, you might need to take a time out to take care to he take care of yourself. You know. Bring yourself back. If there's been some overindulgences, you might need to take a day or 12 hours or whatever it is. Take some time to just breathe. So, yeah, that's what I have for you, Gemini, for this week. I wish you the best, and I will see you soon.